hi guys so this is a little tutorial i wanted to make with this my necklace it's very old you can see it's very old so i want to revamp it and make it into something new so what you actually need this is like you need the old necklace and then you need the a fabric whatever fabric you love like i want to use this fabric okay so what i actually just need is to cut out the shape of the of the necklace to cut out the shape like this kind of a color shape so you just uh put it on the fabric you have to just place your fabric like this and iron it so that it's kind of a uh, straight okay so you iron it place your your fabric on it now it depends which side you want i actually want uh this side to come out of the fabric so remember that when you are drawing out the, the shape of you, you do it on the, the back side or the, the side which is not so bright of the fabric. Okay, so I have this. I just kind of use my, my pen. You can use a pen. You can use a tailor shop, whatever you want. And then you just kind of mark out the, the, the like this. Now, when you are doing it like this, you don't have to mark out exactly the same shape. You actually take like maybe an inch or something like this and then so for in order for your work to be smooth because you have to cover these edges and this so you just put the the, the the pen somewhere here and then you just go around it like this like this and around okay so I'm gonna show you guys So that is it. So this is actually what I have. This is the cut out fabric. Now this is the, the, the other side. So I'm just going to place my... I have to look at the sides, okay? This is the bad side. We call it the bad side. So this is the bad side of the fabric. And then I'm going to also place it forward. So I'm just going to place it down like this. I'm going to place it like this. And I'm going to use my glue. I don't know what glue you're using. Is a cow school glue, whatever glue that you think is best, you can use it. So, I'm just going to glue this down, I'm going to glue it down, and then I'm going to cut. Anyway, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so I have my pattern laid out, so I'm just going to get glue and I'm just going to place glue here. Just gonna spread the glue all around it like so. okay then i'm going to flip it i'm going to flip it over and place it on the fabric and it a little bit inside okay good it's okay you can have glue on this side Okay, so now the next thing we are going to do is um, you let it dry, you let it dry, you let the glue dry, and then you're just going, because you're going to fold this over, and in order to fold it so that it doesn't have like uh, bumps or you just cut, just make some cuts through it like this, I hope you guys can see this. Just cut so that when you close it, it's going to close up smoothly. I'm just cutting and going round. Sometimes if it's so long, you can trim that so that you don't have to. Okay, here and like this. I'm just going round. 
You see, when I start uh, closing it, you're going to understand why I have to make these cuts. So sometimes you don't need to throw away uh, uh, an old necklace just because it's old. You just revamp them and then start working them afresh, you know. So maybe you spent uh, a fortune buying those. Like you see, the item must work this money. <laughs> okay, so just keep going round, making the cuts round. And almost there, almost there. Hope you guys can see this clearly. I like to make very small cuts so that when I'm folding them, the work looks kind of perfect, you know. Okay, that's it. So, right now, I'm going to have to apply some more glue. I'm going to apply glue here. Oh, I'm going to fold them. Apply glue. Some people to ease their work, they use a um, glue gun. But I love glue. I have areas where I'm going to actually use a glue. Gun. So now I prefer using the glue because with the glue, once it sticks or once it's dry, oh. It's smooth and but sometimes if you're using the glue gun you might actually have some bumps so i'm just putting the the glue around okay almost there almost there almost there okay that's it Make sure you have something you can actually clean your hands because when glue gets sticky, it's kind of messy. So I always like to get something wet with water. Okay, so right now I'm going to start taking them and placing them like so. Okay. Where you find out that there is not much glue, you can just go ahead and add the glue. So with, with the part where I have to put the pin, I don't actually have a problem because I'm just going to, there is a hole there already, so it's not going to be any problem to go through with it with the needle. So I'm just going to continue going around and sticking the stuff up. As you go along, you find that there's no much glue. You just add some extra glue. And you keep going. Just keep going like so. Okay. And make sure you like pull it a little bit so that it has a firm shape on the side. Okay, I'm gonna add some little glue here and there. Okay. Almost there. Okay. Back. 
And sometimes she realize the you can put the glue as you go along so that it doesn't get too dried. Almost there, almost there. Almost there. Okay. glue here I'm gonna just add more to have it covered up and this one and the last one and there we go so wow see let me flip it over perfect this is so perfect so we're just gonna let it gonna let it dry now if you look at you see the edges are smooth the edges are very small, so this is what you have. Okay. Now I have these. The next step is to cover this cover this side. Now you can see actually use a uh, part of the fabric that you that you have, or you can use uh, a leather, whatsoever you want to use, just to get the backpack off. But for me, I decided to use the fabric, but to use the darker side of the fabric. So you do the same thing. Place your your your. Make a stencil of out of this same, but this time around you're not going to leave an extra extra space to 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 fold it because you already folded it. You're just going to get that one and put it up. So this is what I have. So I'm just going to place it. Let me look at okay, the case. a shiny side. I'm just going to place it above it like this. Mm hmm like so okay so what we need to do now is just to apply our glue once more hey guys be a little bit generous with the glue because you want it to stick and stay for a long time. So I'm just gonna have this. Okay, guys. So this is the. You see, so perfect. So now what am I going to do? So I don't actually want to like leave it just like this. So it's just kind of plain. So you just play around with some decorations and so so. I since the color of the fabric is having some red, I have this a fringe. I have this fringe. I'm going to use it. So I'm going to turn it at the back and then place the fringe here. So I just going to cut out or measure out where I want the fringe to to end, and I'm going to put the fringe around it so that it has like the the waterfall effect on it. Okay, so I'm just going to, so this is actually where I want the fringe to end, so I'm just going to draw a line, like so, okay, so you can see, and now I'm just going to, so that actually what I'm going to do is, um, this is my fringe, just look for the side that is okay so like this so I'm just going to go ahead and and glue it around just glue around like this just glue around I want to see the length then I'm going to cut it out because it's very long okay so this is the length 
This is the lens. I'm just going to cut that out. You have to be careful how you cut it. So, this is what I have. This is what I have. So, sometimes if it's not enough, you can double it. Make it wish out of my place. Okay, this side. So, uh, uh, this pot, uh, some people like to use the, the glue gun. But still, now another method you can do it, right? Another method you can do it before you actually glue the back, you can put the tassel. You can first of all put the stir. You can first of all put this, the fringes, you put it inside and then you glue this on top. So that is, I think maybe that would have been a better idea. Yes. Okay. So that would have been a, the best idea. Okay, I'm just going to have my... I, glue. I think I'm going to make another one and place it on top of that there. You know, one thing about crafting is the more you do it, the more ideas you have. The more you, as you practice every day, you know, ideas just keep springing forth. Like before, uh, watching other videos, I see people just kind of put it from behind like this and then maybe just get something to cover, but... Now I got another idea, so I'm just going to put it and then make another stencil and close it. Okay, there we go. Let me put it so you guys can see. Okay, so let me start. I'm just going to start here. So make sure it, it ends where you where the, 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 the ropes of the fringe starts so that you have a beautiful come on this thing is kind of shut. Now I got it and it's shut. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now this is a problem you might encounter because you actually took it around, you see. So I have it there. It might be short, it might be longer. All you need to do is just cut it to the place where you want it to be. And that's it. So let me turn it around. Okay, you see? See what we got? Oh, this is so, so, so cute. But I think I want to make this the tassel heavier, so I'm going to get another piece. I'm going to just add it around again. Just going to add it around again, so that it looks kind of uh, heavier, more heavier at the side. I'm going to get this some glue here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we go. I'm just applying glue on the former one. Then I'm just going to stick the second one on it. I like applying glue with my hands so it's easier for me and it's comfortable. Some people use a popsicle, whatever you like. It's craft, it's DIY, it's to have fun. Okay, now I'm just gonna get this on top of it. Carefully, I'm just placing it on top of it. Same, 
and going round and round. Always allow your work to dry off. Now, you see what I, I, I was just telling you? I actually cut this to be a little bit longer than than what we have here. So what you just need to do is to cut it again. You actually have the length that you wanted, so you cut it out. Okay. There you are. So you're just gonna let this dry. Okay, guys. So this is what it looks like. See? So I actually added. So if, like I said, if you want, I, I'm just uh, just gonna let this dry. So I'm just gonna you're gonna let this dry, but for the purpose of the feature, I'm just gonna now. This is actually what you have. So beautiful. What like I said creativity is what makes your work outstanding so i'm not just gonna leave this like this so i actually made um i actually made some fabric buttons from the material and i'm going to place them here like so so i'm going to just uh, like two and three three and four okay wow this com kind of complete or complements the, the the red fabric buttons complements the tassel that i have on it okay so right now i'm just going to glue them down you can glue them you can but in this case it's always good to use um a glue gun or glue stick but this glue is also very good now uh there was a time i did um a video and a lot of people were asking me about the glue I'm using because some glues are not are not actually are common in some areas so you can actually use the screw to glue down the, the the fabric buttons because it's not everywhere that uh glue sticks and glue guns are common all you need with this glue is time for it to dry off that's just it so if you want to know how I made the fabric buttons, I'm going to leave a link down below. That was uh, actually the first video I did on my YouTube channel, how to make a fabric button. I do a lot of videos, but I just so, I'm so lazy to post them online and stuff. Okay. I'm gonna show you. Just deliciously put some glue on it and glue it down. Okay, guys, so this is it. I'm just gonna do the finishing touches. I'm gonna put the um, what I'm going to use, like remember, I told you this part because I already had the wall wasn't going to be uh, a problem. So you just get your scissors and bust through the hole that is already there. You get a jump ring, get a jump ring and put it there.
so once you're done getting the drum brick inside you just i have this one i took it from another old necklace and i'm just going to put it around the, the jump ring and close that tightly okay and the other side i'm gonna get that inside here and close it tightly also okay sorry you guys can see this Okay, so I'm just gonna get this. Actually, my jump ring is kind of small, but I like it so that it's gonna hold. Can you guys see this? I don't have my pliers here, so you can use the pliers. Okay, so we are good to go. And here it is. wow look at how this turned out this turned out so beautifully so 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 all i need to do is just gonna let it dry and voila voila so i actually made some matching earrings so here you go just make some matching i actually made some matching earrings i don't actually know why i kept them so it was from the earrings i got inspired to make this so thank you for watching give it a thumbs up like it subscribe i'm looking forward to your comments i'm just beginning to do videos on this thank you very much for watching thanks bye